Welcome to a Vanguard news video without the bullshit. Let's get started. As a reminder that Vanguard Dear Days ironically is still alive. The DBT-08 DLC comes out this Thursday for those that still gripping with the fact that Vanguard Zero no longer exist. Guess I better start streaming again and beg for DLC money because this feels like buying the cards twice. On top of Omina Gruzio's ride line and supports revealed in DBT-12, the marketing team seems to have a hate boner for the anime's writers and outright gave away a plot point this season by spoiling anime viewers as Mask Snowlier is real and it can really hurt you. Evil IB Stomina Kitty is your typical D-series starter that can be replaced with a waifu starter like Piper Smulchy to fool players into thinking you're playing the inferior version of this deck called Astria Unica. Evil Eye Beastum in a crowd once per turn while on Vanguard lets you pay one soul blast to add up to one grade 3 or higher Omina Gruzio card from the top 5 cards of your deck. You soul charge to cards instead if you did not add a card with this ability. OG players will have nostalgia boner as this card skill is a better iteration of the grade 3 searcher starters back in the day. As to why Borshiro decided to misspell Crow baffles me. Evil IB Stomin Rowls, when placed by riding over a Mina Krog lets you put up to one trigger unit from your deck into your soul. And you draw a card, if you put a card into your soul with this ability. Time to do the ultimate flex by soul charging your over trigger with this ability. Evil Eye Dragon Omina Gruzio when placed on Vanguard lets you add either up to one Omina Gruzio card or Masks of Hydrogen from the top 5 cards of your deck. And once per turn while on Vanguard, you can pay one soul blast to bind up to one trigger unit from your drop zone and your opponent cannot gain power with the same trigger types in your bind zone for this turn. It's no wonder that Helona was considered a top fighter in uniformers, her ride line and main grade 3 alone are consistent as fuck. Just riding this alone potentially gets you another copy of itself, or a way to go into your mask's form. And this is ironically the first ride line that makes you play its mask's form despite the fact it being consistent enough to not even need it. Misery Winged Dragon, while on rear guard during your turn, gets 5k power for each trigger type in your bind zone. And when it's placed on rear guard, you can pay 2 soul blast, if there's 2 or more trigger types in your bind zone, to draw a card. A card developer probably said, what if we created a card that has Chronogit's crest power and GG's draw in one card, but with a different condition. And don't get me started at the premium format implications where Time Leap Gear Chronicle with a Chronogit crest and this card would create stupid numbers. Ruin Collector when placed on rear guard lets you soul charge one card. And while on rear guard, it can be regarded as two units when it would be put into your soul for the cost of your Omina Gruzio Vanguard's ability. Finally an optional on place soul charger for Chronogit decks. But unfortunately Greedon players got cucked out of a potentially new support since Omina Gruzio wants to be the next tier 1 deck this season. Sylvan Horned Beast King of Calamity Magnolia Masks can only be ridden from a grade 3 Magnolia Vanguard. While on Vanguard during your turn, all of your rear guards with Dragon Tree markers can attack from the back row and get 10k power. And once per turn while on Vanguard, you can remove one Magnolia card with a different name from either your hand soul or drop zone to get an auto ability that lets you retire one of your opponent's rear guards when your back row rear guards attacks the Vanguard. Funny how this is quite superior to Magnolia Elder despite being a grade 3 card, with the difference being it can't keep spitting out Inlet Pulse Dragon from the soul every turn. Guess we know who's going to get choice restricted again. And a total of 15k power to the back row means Ginosla is going to be stupidly high on drugs. Force Grow Dragon when placed on rear guard, not on the battle phase, lets you pay one counter blast if you have a Magnolia Masks Vanguard. To call a grade 3 or lower card up to the same number of dragon tree marker on your field from your drop zone to rear guard. And while on rear guard, you give your magnolia vanguard 5k power when it attacks. By using Serral from DBT07 to search for more magnolia cards, and giving your back row units persona ride power, this card will be so much cancer with inlet pulse dragon. Finally, here are the secret rare versions of Omina Gruzio and Magnolia Masks which honestly looks a bit off as the artwork of the units are forced to the side more than usual. And that concludes this Vanguard news video. Be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if Inlet Pulse Dragon reaches $50 each.